Okay, this is video three. We'll be doing substitution and simplifying. So we have a 3x and a 3 and a 2z squared, or should I say x cubed. And this tells us what values to put in. So for every variable, you're going to replace that with a parenthesis first. So this will be 3 parentheses to the third power minus 2 parentheses to the second power. And now we're going to look for this x here. The x was a 2, so a 2 goes in here. And the z, which goes in this parenthesis, says it was a 3, so it goes here. Now we're going to use expansion, so this would be 3, and this 2 is going to be written 3 times. So 2 parentheses, 2 parentheses, 2. Then a minus 2 here, and then this 3 is going to be written 2 times, so 3 parentheses, 3. Okay, now it's time for multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12, and 12 times 2 is 24. So it'd be 24, and there are no negatives here, so this is a positive 24. Next, we have 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 3 is 18, so this would be 18, and this has one negative. And the rule is with one negative, okay, we're going to have negative. So let's put negative here, and now these are different signs. A positive 24, negative 18, so different signs are going to subtract. So I'm going to have 6, I believe. 24 take away 18, there's 6. And the bigger sign always wins. Well, the 24 is bigger and it's positive, therefore, this is a positive 6. Next, we have a negative 3. And then there's an x to the third power, so we'll put parentheses to the third power, minus 3. This is a y to the second power, so we'll put parentheses to the second power. And then we'll look up what the x is. The x here is a 2, so we're going to put 2 in here. And here the y, the y is a negative 2, so we'll put a negative 2 here. And now we'll expand. So this will be negative 3. And we're going to write the 2 three times. So we're going to write this 2 here, here, and there. Okay. Then the negative 3 is next. And then the negative 2 gets written twice. So parentheses, negative 2, parentheses, negative 2. Okay, next, multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. And 12 times 2 is 24. So this is 24. This is multiplying with one negative. So when you multiply with one negative, um, it's going to be a negative. Okay, so. Here we have multiplication of 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 2 is 12, so this will be 12. Now here we're multiplying three negatives together. The rule is when you multiply three negatives, you'll have negative, or a negative number. So these are the same signs. Same signs do add. So negative 24 and negative 12 add up to a 36, and the bigger sign always wins. So the 24 is the bigger sign, so we're going to use its negative to give us a negative 36. Okay, number three. Number three, we have a negative three and parentheses to the third power minus three and then parentheses here to the second power. And then we'll go look up y. No, it's way back here. Okay, so y is going to be a negative two. So we're going to put a negative two right here. And the z is going to be the number three. So we're going to put a 3 right in here. All right, now let's, let's expand. First, we start off with a negative 3. And this negative 2, because it's to the third power, we're going to write three of these. So parentheses. So it's a negative 2 here, a negative 2 there, and a negative 2 there. OK, got those. Next, we have a negative 3. And this 3 right here needs to be written twice. So we're going to write that twice, put a couple parentheses in here and then put the 3 in there. Okay, now we're ready for multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, and 12 times 2 is 24. Now, I have how many negatives? 1, 2, 3, 4 negatives. The rule for 4 negatives is this. 4 negatives is a positive, so this will remain positive 24. Then, we have 3 times 3 is 9, and then 9 times 3 is 27, so this will be 27. This is multiplying with just one negative. When you multiply with one negative, the final answer is going to be negative. So this is negative 27.
These are different signs, so we're going to subtract. So 24 from 27 leaves us 3. And the bigger sign always wins. So 27 is bigger, so the negative is going to win. So this will be a negative 3. OK, let's go to page 2. OK, on page 2, we have a negative 3 followed by y to the third power, so we'll put a parenthesis here to the third power, minus a w, so this would be minus a parenthesis with a third power. Okay, so now um, the y here is going to be a negative 2, so we'll put a negative 2 here. And the w was a negative 3, so we'll put a negative 3 here. Okay, now let's expand. So we have a negative 3. And we have to write this negative 2 three times. So let's get ready to write it, write it in three times. We put the parentheses in there. So negative 2, negative 2, and negative 2. Okay. Next, we have a negative here. And then this parentheses negative 3 needs to be written three times. Let's see if I have enough room for that. That's 2, and one more. Oh, we made it. Okay. <laughs> Just having that. All right. Now, let's start multiplying these numbers. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, and 12 times 2 is 24. Now let's count the negatives. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 negatives. Okay, there are 4 negatives right here. So 4 negatives, 4 negatives will be positive. So this is positive uh, 24. And then let's multiply here. 3 times 3, which is 9, and then 9 times 3, which is 27. So it'll be 27. And here we have one, two, three, four negatives. So once again, four negatives is positive. So we'll put a plus in front of the 27. And these are same signs, positive 24 and positive 27, same signs add. We will get a 51. And the, uh, the biggest sign always wins. And the 27 is bigger, so this will be a positive 51. Next, we need a negative 2 and a parenthesis to the second power and a negative two here, another parenthesis with the second power. Okay, now we need to look for what z is. Okay, and it says z is a three. So let's put a three in here. And next we'll look for w. w says here is a negative three, so we'll put a negative three there. All right, now let's expand. So this will be a negative two this 3 here needs to be written twice. So let's get a couple parentheses and write the 3 twice. Then the minus 2 here. This negative 3 here needs to be written twice. So let's get ready to write it twice. Negative 3 and then negative 3. All right, it's time for multiplication. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 3 is 18. We're multiplying with one negative. And the rule is when you multiply with one negative, it'll finalize with be negative. Next, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, so this would be 18 as well. Now, this has a total of 3 negatives, and the rule is for three, when you multiply by 3 negatives, you'll get negative. So this would be negative 18. These are same signs. Same signs will add. So we'll get a 36. The bigger sign wins, so it doesn't matter which one you choose, because they're both the same. So we'll just choose the one in front. This will be a negative 36. Okay, all right, number six. Okay, we have three terms here. We have a y, this is a second power, so we'll put a parentheses here to the second power. A negative, a two, the x will make, turn into a parentheses to the second power. We have a negative, a two, and a z here, so we'll put a parentheses to the second power. Okay, and let's go find those numbers. Okay, the y is a negative two, so we'll put negative two in here. The x is next, goes here, and the x is a 2. So we'll put 2 in there. The z uh, goes next, and the z is a 3. So we'll put a 3 there. All right. I hope I don't run out of room, but I need to expand these. This negative 2 has to be written twice. Negative 2, and then negative 2. Then we have a negative and a 2 here. And this 2 has to be written twice. Okay, 
here we have a negative. <laughs> and this 3 has to be written twice. Oh boy, just made it. Okay, here we go. Alright, now it's time for multiplication. <clears throat> 2 times 2 is 4. We have two negatives, so when you multiply with two negatives, you're going to get a positive. So that's going to be positive 4. Here is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So that's going to be an 8. And this has one negative that we're multiplying by, which is right here. So one negative is going to be negative. Okay, next, uh, we have a 2 times 3, which is 6, and a 6 times 3, which is 18. So that's going to be 18. And this has only one negative that we're multiplying by, so this will be a negative. Now, we're going to do same signs add. The negative 8 and the negative 18 are same signs, so we can add those, and we'll get um, negative 26. The 4 is positive, so we'll put it back here. Okay, now we have different signs. Different signs subtract. So 26 minus a 4 will give us 22. And the bigger sign always wins. So the 26, which is a negative here, its sign will win, so we get negative 22.